Hi, this is Nellie's Farm. It's October 10th, 2024. I have a list of things that you will not hear about what's going on with Hurricane Milton probably anywhere else. At least some of them I know you won't. I have compiled this list from different resources. It is not, most of the stuff is from, not from the news. Um, a few of these items are from regular news, mostly Fox uh, Weather Live. But the rest of it, you won't you won't hear about it until maybe later. Now, um, first of all, I have my two older children and my grandchildren are in Florida in three different locations, so I'm pretty concerned, and I'm I'm watching this very close. None of them are on the East Coast, but there's a few on the West or the East Coast. They are on the East Coast. None of them are on the West Coast, and one in Central Florida. It sounds to me like the entire state is under threat. And by the way, you're looking at my chickens. They're eating some red cabbage over there. They lay a lot more eggs when you give them things like that. They also love fresh spinach, things like that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start with this list and get it done. Right now, it's um, as of right now, torrential rain is beginning. Um, I don't know if you already knew, but they're still flooded from the last one from Helene, especially in the Tampa area, um, Bradenton, Sarasota. They, they're already, you know, they haven't recovered from the last one. There is a tornado watch for almost the entire state right now. And there's already been a few tornadoes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it is a Category 4, um, last I heard, 155 mile an hour winds. But... What's really bad, I just saw this a few minutes ago. Milton is growing in size as it approaches the coast. Now, usually they slow down, you know. Uh, the land, when they start to approach land, they slow down. That seems to be the pattern. Well, this one isn't acting like regular hurricane. It formed so fast and it formed in a very unusual area in the Gulf off of the eastern coast of Mexico. That I, I was watching that when they were showing the golf but they weren't talking about it yet and I thought what in the world when I saw all of those uh, storm systems in the golf and I kind of thought that that might happen so and, it, and it, it strengthened so fast you know in like 24 hours or 18 hours it went from just a little tropical storm to a very serious powerful hurricane which is unheard of so more information uh, thousands are stranded on the interstate. You might have heard that. I saw a video, a Facebook reel, of just hundreds of cars down the interstate. And they aren't moving. Now, DeSantis, he told them to go ahead and evacuate. He said there's plenty of gas. Well, guess what? 1,500 gas stations are out of gas. So these people that put up this particular video that I saw... They moved 10 miles in six hours. So basically, the interstate is a parking lot now. I don't know what they're going to do when... I don't know if they are, they are abandoning their cars, because a lot of them are out of gas now. Or are they going to um, just stay in their car when the storm hits? I guess it depends on where they are, too, like how, how far they made it north. So I wanted to tell you that. Uh, also, there are reports, many reports now, it's going around on Twitter, which I always call it Twitter, but I guess it's actually called X now, of residents, Tampa residents, that area, their vehicles are not starting. People are starting to speculate that an, some kind of frequency EMP weapon is being used, but it could be the frequencies from the storm itself, maybe. My ears have been ringing. Um... I'm dizzy ever since this started for a few days now. Um, I'm having all kinds of... I'm very, very sensitive to that stuff. And so so are my sons here. And uh, my my one of my sons, Rick, who does the little critter videos on our channel, uh, he's had ear ringing so loud it's just off the hook. And uh, I have all the symptoms of that and... I won't go, I, I won't, I won't talk any more about that. You probably already know where that stuff comes from. They fuel the storm pretty much. But if I'm feeling it here in northern Alabama, imagine how powerful that storm is. So anyway, um, now Fox Live Weather, 
Fox Weather Live, says 31,000 residents are in shelters right now. Something else I've heard a lot of reports about in the last 18 hours. A lot of people are leaving their pets behind. Part of it, I think, is because most of these shelters, they don't allow pets, which is bullshit. Me, I don't go anywhere without my pets. I mean, I'm not evacuating. My pets are family. They've been better to me than a lot of people in my life and even some family. Some blood. So, that's just the way I see it. And I feed, I would feed them before I would myself. That's, that's just me. But anyway... I don't know. Uh, um, maybe I shouldn't be so judgmental about that. Maybe there are situations that it's just impossible to take them. I don't know. But you know what? Remember uh, my video, I, I am proud to be an American again. There is a lady in Mississippi with a farm. Like she said, like I think she said like 40 acres. She's inviting anybody. Well, it's a little late now, but this was, you know, this was like 24 hours ago inviting anybody that needs to take their horse and or whatever else pet she said come we got plenty of room you know and i mean you're despite the turmoil and the tragedy you're i'm i'm sorry i'm rocking back and forth my nerves are a little shot so you're probably seeing your picture rock back and forth, <laughs> thinking about what's going on what's about to hit where my grandkids and my kids are two of my kids anyway I'll try to hold it steady. Um, I'm seeing the best in people through these tragedies, including, like I said before, um, in the Carolinas. And I want to report more on that, too. Some some crazy things I'm hearing that you probably haven't heard. I'll do a separate video. So anyway, um, now, the Seminole Native American tribe, they are taking um, people with pets in their shelter. And then I found out, I did a little research that they do this every hurricane. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely wonderful. Now, something that's hair-raising. The Tampa Zoo employees, they are staying with the zoo animals. Now, if that's not heroes, I don't know what is. It's situations like this that make heroes. But I fear for all of their lives. Because they keep saying that the storm surge is unsurvivable. Now, this is, they're expecting record 15 to 20 feet storm surge. Record. Now, um, I'm going to do a separate video on the situation with Tampa uh, General Hospital because it is just as bad as the zoo situation, I believe. I want to do a separate short video on that. It's, oh my gosh. Anyway, <clears throat> which the Fox Weather Live, they interviewed the uh, administrator at that hospital. So, here we are. Um, I think I've shared all that information with you. Um, except for this, which pisses me off. The Florida and Georgia hotels are price gouging. They're charging $700 plus for one room per night, okay? For a room that would normally cost like 100 bucks. So, I'm thinking that probably those cheap Motel 6s or, you know, any of them, Super 8s. I mean, that not price gouging illegal? Shouldn't they be in jail taking advantage of their fellow struggling Americans? Of course, it's not always Americans who run those places, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But it pisses me off. Unbelievable. So, uh, these tragedies, I'm sorry, Isabel, I think just peed in. <laughs> Isabel. I wasn't paying attention. These tragedies, they bring the, the worst and the best in people, don't they? So, um, oh, one more thing. I don't know if you guys know about Coast to Coast AM. It's a radio show. It's an overnight radio show that talks about news headlines, paranormal, UFOs, um, it, all kinds of stuff, you know, um, newest tech, um, just all kinds of stuff. Well, Art Bell used to, he's the one who created the show in the desert. He, um, <clears throat> years ago, he did an experiment with his um, millions of radio listeners. Now, this is before, you know, internet and stuff. I, I've listened to that for years. I haven't the last few years, but um, <clears throat> George Nori hosts it now, and he has for a long time. But anyway, uh, 
Art Bell did an experiment and had all of his listeners um, pray and focus. Uh, I don't know if you call it pray. Um, focus on the hurricane. I guess it would be praying um, on, uh, on dissipating it. It was an experiment he did. And you know what? It worked. Or at least it seemed to. So um, I'm going to ask right now if maybe everybody listening, even though I know I don't have a whole lot of listeners, but maybe you can share my video out and then they get that information too that they're not going to hear elsewhere probably. And uh, please pray for everybody that's in this path and not just humans, but animals too. They're innocent. They don't, they don't deserve this. Thanks for listening, and I'm still doing my fundraiser. My PayPal link, sorry about that, is in the description. And um, I will do another update as soon as possible. And like I said, I'm going to do a, a video, a separate video about what's about to happen to Tampa General Hospital. It's unbelievable. Nellie's Farm signing off. Thanks for listening.